Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on resolution of forces. In this video, we'll be looking at horizontal and vertical components of forces. So we'll start with problem one. For problem one, a force F is 118 newtons. It is inclined to the horizontal at an angle 30 degrees. Find the horizontal and vertical components of F. In our solution, we are going to have the diagrammatical representation of the force. Here is the XY plane, and uh, the force F is 118 Newton, and it is inclined at an angle 30 degrees to the horizontal. To the horizontal, yeah. So we have the force 118 degrees inclined at an angle 30 degrees to the horizontal so we have to find the vertical and the horizontal component of the force f so we let the horizontal component be fx and that of vertical be fy so here is the fx this is the horizontal component and the vertical we take it as this to be fy so that um, from here we are looking at a right angle triangle it's a right angle triangle so we look at the horizontal component first that is fx this is adjacent and hypotenuse so it is going to be cosine so that's going to be f cos 30 degrees where our f is 118 newtons so that we have 118 newtons times cos 30 degrees and from our calculator we have it as 102.2 newtons that is the horizontal component that is the x component then for the vertical component we have fy to be f sine 30 degrees because this is opposite and hypotenuse so opposite and hypotenuse so that our f is 118 substituting we have 118 times sine 30 degrees pressing our calculator we have it as 59.0 newtons and that's all for the solution of problem one we then go to problem two for problem two the horizontal component of a force p which makes angle 40 degrees with the horizontal is 8 newtons find the force p so in our solution we represent the information again in the diagram um, we have the force p which uh, makes angle 40 degrees with the horizontal this is 40 degrees and the horizontal component of the force is 8 newtons so we complete the triangle and uh, we know that our horizontal component fx is p cos 40 degrees this is adjacent and hypotenuse using trigonometric ratios since we are looking for p is equal to fx over cos 40 our fx is 8 divided by cos 40 degrees pressing this in our calculator we have it as 10.4 newtons which represents the force p to be calculated in problem 2 and that's all for problem 2 we then go to problem 3 for problem 3 the vertical component of a force f which makes angle 60 degrees with the horizontal is 25 newtons find the force f still finding solution to this we make a grammatical representation this is um, the force f it makes angle 60 degrees with the horizontal this is 60 degrees and uh, the vertical component is 25 newtons so we have the vertical component 25 newton still having a right angle triangle and uh, we have to calculate the force f we know the vertical component fy is opposite and hypotenuse which is a uh, f 
sine 60 degrees so opposite and hypotenuse and our f is going to be fy which is 25 over sine 60 degrees so pressing this in our calculator we have the force to be 28.9 newtons and that's all for problem three we then go to problem four for problem four a vertical force of 21 newtons and horizontal force of 28 newtons act on the body find the magnitude and angle of inclination of the resultant force to the horizontal we're going to represent the information again in a diagram this is the cartesian plane a vertical force of 21 newton and a horizontal force of 28 newton okay so let's get the force with an angle of inclination to the horizontal to be theta so we are told that the vertical component of the force is 21 newtons and that of the horizontal component is 28 newtons so we still have a right angle triangle but to find the magnitude this is the resultant and then the angle of inclination to the horizontal which is the theta here so since this is right angle triangle we know two sides and we don't know the hypotenuse we're going to apply Pythagoras theorem so that we have it as r equal to square root of fx squared plus fy squared that is the horizontal component squared plus the vertical component squared so here we are going to have it as square root of 28 squared plus 21 squared if you input this in our calculator we have it as 35 newtons which is the magnitude of the resultant force and then to get the angle of inclination we can use opposite and adjacent that is TOA using the trigonometric ratio so we have tan theta is equal to opposite 21 over adjacent which is over 28 so that theta will be tan inverse of 21 over 28 is 0 0.75 so tan inverse of 0 0.75 gives 36.9 degrees so the angle of inclination of the resultant force to the horizontal is 36.9 degrees that's all for problem 4 and this is the highest we can take in this tutorial thank you for watching until we come your way again goodbye